Kevin Chaudhary. Sometimes there might be a tricky question. So azimuth at the time of meridian passage was 180. Right? The true altitude was 80 degrees and the declination of sun at that time, at the time of meridian passage was 20 degrees 0, 05 minutes. Find the latitude. So we will understand this numerical with the help of observers rational horizon. Uh, once again, same procedure, draw a circle, divide in four parts, write down V, this is north, this is south, this is Z. Now, uh, we don't know what is the latitude, so we don't know how to start drawing the observer's rational horizon, right? Because we don't know from where to draw the equinoctial. So, the golden rule, when you have to draw observer's rational horizon and you don't have latitude or declination. The golden rule is place the body according to the altitude and azimuth. This is the golden rule. When you are stuck, you don't know how to proceed. Place the body according to altitude and azimuth. So altitude is 80 degrees. Altitude is measured from the nearest horizon. And azimuth is 180. Where is the observer? Observer is in the center, right? Below the observer's zenith is the observer. Observer is looking into which direction? 180. That means we are considering this particular portion of observer's vertical circle, right? So the body has to be in this portion. Now, uh, how to place the body in this part? This particular section can be actually divided in uh, nine parts and that would be like this. I have divided this portion, this radius or observer's vertical circle in nine parts. So every part is representing 10 degrees and it seems the body is somewhere here and it seems the altitude is 80 degrees. Now in this observer's vertical circle, the horizon point is over here. From the horizon point, I have to mark 80 degrees. That means this is where I place the body. So this point is X. And we know that the declination of the body is 20 degrees 5 minutes. Declination is from the equinoctial till the body. So can I say declination is 20 degrees 5 minutes north of equinoctial. So body is north of equinoctial. That means the equinoctial is south of the body by the same amount. So equinoctial is south of the body. From here I need to measure 20 degrees 5 minutes. So this is the equinoctial point. As soon as you have the equinoctial point, you can actually draw the equinoctial like this. Incidentally, the apparent daily path would be like this. So the moment you have the equinoctial on the south side, we will say that the latitude is north. And how much it is? What is the value of the latitude? So 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees and 5 minutes. This is because the zenith distance, observer's zenith distance is 10 degrees. Now from here to here is observer's zenith distance. And from there to the equinoctial is 20 degrees 5 minutes. The total is 30 degrees 5 minutes. So latitude is north because the equinoctial is to the south. So this is how you may find out the latitude of observer even if the DR latitude or you have no idea of drawing the observer's rational horizon because you don't know what is the DR latitude. So this is how sometimes the numerical is given where DR latitude is not given. So the golden rule is whenever you don't have latitude or declination and you have to draw the observer's rational horizon, then place the body according to altitude and azimuth. Now amplitude is one of the fastest ways of finding out compass error. Now once again, let us concentrate our talks only for uh, the sun. Now amplitude can also be taken for the moon. Visibility should be good, clarity should be high and you should be able to see the light of moon before the moon rises because the upper limb of the moon is just at the visible horizon, observer's visible horizon when the amplitude observation should be taken in case of moon. But in case of sun, the lower limb is approximately semi diameter above the observer's visible horizon. So sometimes you might be given a simple numerical. For example, uh, DR latitude is say uh, 35 degrees north. Uh, compass
Gauss azimuth at the time of rising was 0 0.86 degrees. The declination can be found from the time of observation. It is like you know the ship's time of observation. You apply the time difference that is the zone, time zone and you get the GMT of observation and from that GMT you look into the declination. You don't have to be you don't have to be very accurate about the time of observation as far as the declination is concerned because it is a, a very simple thing the declination changes very slowly in case of sun right so an approximate time is good enough if you just want to see the declination but in case you want to read the GHA from the almanac then you better be very accurate then the time is taken by chronometer okay now uh, declination of the sun is suppose 8 degree south the declination of the sun is 8 degrees south you have to find out compass error so the latitude is 35 degrees north and declination is 8 degrees south so uh, let us see how much is the amplitude there is a simple formula sine amplitude is equal to sine d upon cos l so uh, sine 8 degrees divided by cos 35 degrees equal to shift sine that gives me 9.78 degrees say for example 9.8 degrees is the amplitude so rising time we would say east on before east we write before the amplitude figure and because we are talking about uh, sun being in south declination south will come over here so east 9.8 degrees south is the rising amplitude now let us look at the same thing in the observer's rational horizon diagram to draw we'll draw a circle divided in four parts write down v z over here north south now latitude is 35 degrees north so let's uh, put the equinoctial on the south side I've divided it in nine parts, so each part representing 10 degrees, 10, 20, 30, 35. It passes from here. So if this is the equinoctial, declination is south means declination is south of equinoctial, body is south of equinoctial, and 8 degrees means this is the point at which meridian passage would take place. 9.8 degree east 9.8 degree south means we might put the protector here and 9.8 degrees from here would be probably something like this same thing on the other side so i have to draw the apparent daily path passing through these three points this is the apparent daily path this is the point at which the sun will rise Sun is on observer's rational horizon and the total angle measured from top will be 90 plus 9.8 that is 99.8 degrees is the true azimuth. 99.8 degrees is the true azimuth and the observed azimuth was 086 degrees. So uh, 99.8 is the true azimuth. And observed azimuth is 0 0.86 degrees compass. So you can see compass least error east. So how much is the error? 13.8 degrees east is the compass error. So when you take the amplitude of sun or moon, these kind of very simple calculations are done. You don't have to draw a full-fledged PZX triangle. You can just simply use this formula sin amplitude is equal to sin D upon cos L. And only thing, please remember that amplitude takes the name from declination. Amplitude also takes the name from the fact that the body is rising or setting. If the body is rising, the amplitude is east. And if the body is setting, the amplitude is west. And the other part of the name is from the declination. Thank mm -hmm. you.